Ladies and gentlemen, it's time we're here at GCW WrestleMania 7 and we're opening up this show with the Money in the Bank ladder match. And now this man right here, Chris Jericho, he has something to prove. He has been in three GCW Money in the Bank ladder matches and hasn't won one of them. So Jericho really has to prove himself here tonight. And now the question is how Chris Jericho will fare into tonight's Money in the Bank ladder match because he had a pretty great showing at the Royal Rumble, has not won the match of course, but he had a couple of great eliminations, he lasted for a long while. He entered at entry number one and stayed in the Rumble until pretty late. Jericho's last title run in GCW was in 2012 and he was the world champion. Now Jericho has not won a title since seven years. He uh, went into GCW WrestleMania 1 being the world heavyweight champion. He had the match with Evan Bourne and he uh, later ended up dropping the title to Shelton Benjamin via Money in the Bank cash-in at a GCW Backlash 2012. Jericho is of course known for his United Wrestling Championship run. That was the cooperation between Prime Wrestling, CWA, XWE, and GCW. And Jericho has been the world champion of that brand for a very long time. And we hear Sheldon Benjamin's music hitting here. And Benjamin and Jericho had really similar paths here in GCW. Benjamin, of course, won the very first Money in the Bank ladder match at GCW WrestleMania 1, then cashed it in, had a awesome world title run that lasted for about one full year before he lost the belt to Dolph Ziggler. And he has never been the same since. He has not won any championships since. And Benjamin has not really been featured much on cards. But a win here in tonight's Money in the Bank ladder match could put him right back in the top and maybe repeat history becoming a world champion in GCW once again. And right now we have a man that has been screwed out of the GCW WrestleMania 5 Money in the Bank ladder match by Dolph Ziggler, very angry Dolph Ziggler attacked him on his entrance and threw him off the stage. Now, uh, Breeze uh, was taken out by that for most of the match, so he didn't have a chance to really compete in that match. Uh, this is obviously going to be different tonight. Uh, Tyler Breeze also, he is a former GCW Cruiserweight Champion. And Breeze's career in GCW started really well. He won the Cruiserweight Championship on his first night at GCW Lockdown. And uh, he went on and had a very successful showing at the Royal Rumble. He actually made it into the final three. And uh, then he went on to GCW WrestleMania 4, had the match with Chris Jericho. And after that, uh, Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, made his GCW debut and took the uh, GCW Cruiserweight Championship off Tyler Breeze. And speaking of CSJ, here he is coming and uh, Zack Sabre Jr. made his GCW return at uh, GCW Back from the Dead 2019 alongside Minoru Suzuki and uh, Zack Sabre now finding himself here in the Money in the Bank ladder match of course as mentioned former GCW Cruiserweight Champion he uh, lost the belt to um, Finn Balor back in the day after winning it from Tyler Breeze but now a win in this match could put Zack Sabre Jr. right into the main event picture of GCW. Mm -hmm. 
And here he comes, the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Now, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy made their return to GCW as well at Back from the Dead 2019. Now, uh, Jeff Hardy is the only man in this match who is a former GCW champion. And uh, Jeff Hardy won the belt in 2012 um, from CM Punk. And CM Punk um, got the belt back just one pay-per-view later back in the day. And uh, Jeff Hardy has never won the GCW title since. He has been tag team champion with Matt Hardy. Uh, they ended up dropping the tag belts to the Young Bucks. And the Young Bucks actually still this GCW tag team champions ever since. Jeff Hardy walking down the gigantic ramp before this huge crowd here at GCW WrestleMania 7. Here comes the American Nightmare, here comes Bullet Club member Cody. Now, Cody had his first singles match here at GCW WrestleMania last year against John Cena. And he did beat Cena in the opening contest of GCW WrestleMania 6. Now Cody finds himself in the opening match for GCW WrestleMania 7. But uh, this time, a win here in the match could put Cody into the world title picture. The only question is, does Cody want to be in that world title picture? Because the world champion that he would need to cash in on would be either Kenny Omega or AJ Styles after tonight. And either Kenny Omega or AJ Styles are going to be leader of Bullet Club after tonight. So Cody winning this match would put Bullet Club in a lot of conflict. And you might wonder if Cody wins money in the bank and cashes in at the end of the night, would Cody be in charge of Bullet Club? Now, this is a lot to speculate right here, but there are a lot of questions to be answered if Cody wins money in the bank tonight. And his chances aren't bad because Cody has been very impressive since coming to GCW, beating John Cena. He uh, did lose to AJ Styles and had a very great showing in the Royal Rumble match as well uh, made it into the final two and whether Cody wins tonight or not this night will be a hard one on Bullet Club because the Young Bucks have to defend against Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt later on tonight and then like I said leadership and the GCW Championship are on the line tonight in the main event between Kenny Omega and AJ Styles it's going to be an absolutely great show tonight and now we're getting ready to start this money in the bank ladder match and the bell rings and here we go Tyler Breeze up going after Jeff Hardy and now we see Jericho already on the outside looking for a ladder, picking one out. Cody on the other side too, while Hardy is uh, putting the boot on a breeze. Now going under the top rope and what a splash to the outside onto Cody. And in the ring we have Zack Sabre Jr. dogging the ladder from Jericho. Now having him in his suplex position and oh my god! Neck first onto the ladder goes Jericho. And now Zach, what an uppercut on Jeff. Zach going running, and here's Shelton Benjamin. Belly to belly onto the ladder. My god, that killed Zach Sabre's back right there. Now Jeff Hardy ladder and head onto Benjamin. And now what is Hardy looking for? Putting the ladder onto Benjamin. And I think he's going for his 
corner drop kick here into the ladder onto Jericho Hardy goes and it connects. And now Jericho taking control of the matchup. Going into the ropes and Bulldog connects by Jericho. Now he's going to follow it up with the Lion Soul, but from behind Cody. And Cody now uh, going for a front slam and it connects onto Jericho, onto Hardy, my god. And now Cody with ladder in hand trying to set it up, maybe going to climb it, but no, Breeze in the way and Cody Oh my god, is he going for his snap DDT from the ladder? Yes! And it spiked Breeze right on his head. And now Cody's trying to climb, but Jericho is trying to prevent him. Elbow by Cody. Cody trying to go back up for the disaster. Code breaker! Code breaker off the disaster kick, my god. That crushed Cody's ribs. And oh, what a knee by Benjamin. And now Sheldon Benjamin uh, going for his powerbomb on Tyler Breeze, perhaps through that ladder, uh, leaning on the rope. Breeze trying to fight out of it. Breeze got a hold of the ladder, now he's climbing it. Kick to Benjamin. And now Tyler Breeze has a chance to go for the briefcase, but from outside comes CSJ. And CSJ trying to hold Breeze now. Uh, CSJ climbing the ladder too getting hold of Tyler Breeze's head and um, Tyler Breeze now I, oh Sheldon Benjamin from down there oh my god but Zack Sabre lets on his feet and puts Sheldon right in the guillotine choke but I think Sheldon is countering on Spine Buster oh my god what did this do to she Zack Sabre's back ladies and gentlemen Look at Zack Sabre Jr. He might be out of the entire match. And now what does Jericho have in mind? For sure doesn't look good for Cody. Going for the pile driver. But Cody reversing it. Alabama slam. No back to a pile driver a position. Jericho getting up Cody. But now puts him up and this could end even worse for Cody. But Cody able to save himself to the outside and the hand to Jericho. But now there's Jeff Hardy and poetry in motion and Rhodes lands hard on the ladder. And now Jericho going after Hardy. But Hardy putting Jericho to the apron. But what? What is Jericho doing? Lion Soul to the ladder went, oh my god. I don't know if Chris Jericho should be doing such things, he's almost 50 years old, but there's Jeff Hardy and he's trying to follow it up. Oh my god, what a splash. Oh my god. They crashed hard on the floor. I hope Cody looks, he's alright. That looked brutal. And now Jericho here trying to take advantage of this whole situation. But there comes Benjamin running. And he's running up the ladder. But Jericho, Jericho's just letting it fall. And Benjamin lands on his feet though. Now what is Sheldon Benjamin doing? Oh, he's going, I think he's going for his power bump into the corner. Yes, buckle bump by Benjamin. But there's Zack Sabre Jr. running like a lunatic into Benjamin with a ladder wrapped around his head. My god, that took Benjamin inside out. And now Breeze ducking. And Supermodel kick to the ladder. And what is he going for? Backstabber! Oh my god! Zack Sabre's head is still wrapped into that ladder. Breeze hits him with a vicious backstabber.
And now here in the ring, Jeff Hardy trying to finish Zack Sabre off with the twist of fate, but Zack Sabre escapes and goes for his running tornado DDT and it spikes Hardy on his head. And now Zack wanting to go for a suplex here on Jericho, but Jericho suplexes Zack to the outside. And now Jericho needs to, some time to take a breath here in, in this match. Crazy spot after crazy spot now uh, picking up Hardy. But there's Cody coming, jumping with the moonsault onto both of them. And now from other side, Shelton Benjamin, but Cody gets out of the way now. Throws Shelton Benjamin over, but Benjamin lands on his feet on the ladder, runs over to Tyler Breeze. Belly to belly suplex to the floor. Did he just do this? I cannot believe it. The doctor backstage better get ready because there are broken bodies everywhere. And now Jeff going for Whisper and the win, but Cody, oh my god, catches him with the ladder and also Jeff's body crashing on the floor. But oh look, Jericho's back going for the coat breaker on Cody. Cody catches him. And what is Cody doing? Throws him over. Through the ladder goes Chris Jericho. What is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? And now going um, after a lot of abuse earlier in the match, I think Cody has a chance to climb the ladder. Everyone is down on the outside. Cody could be Mr. Money in the Bank. We could be moments away from Cody getting that briefcase. Cody on the top of the ladder. Cody, but oh my god, I see Sheldon Benjamin from behind jumping onto the ladder. Nice, what is Sheldon doing? Oh my god, no. Oh, German suplex from the ladder. At this point, I just want this match to be stopped. I want it to be over. Somebody's going to die out here. You, you can really see how much this opportunity for GCW Championship shot uh, uh, does for all of these competitors. And now Zack Sabre Jr., uh, Benjamin grabbing him, but he goes right back into the guillotine show. And there's Jeff Hardy. He, he can't powerbomb them like that. Oh my god, and Zack Sabre out of the ring. That was one of the strangest power bombs I've ever seen, but now it's Jeff Hardy's time. Everyone is out, and Jericho coming from behind, taking Hardy down. Oh my God, Judas effect! I don't know if you heard that, but that caved in Hardy's skull. Jericho on top of the ladder. Can he do it? He has the briefcase. And Chris Jericho is Mr. Money in the bank. What a war and the Alpha goes out victorious. What does this mean to Chris Jericho's Korean GCW? This could take him to that next level that he hasn't seen in seven years. Kenny Omega, AJ Styles, get ready because the Alpha is Mr. Money in the Bank. And what a way to start off this show here tonight with the Money in the Bank ladder match and all out war, broken bodies everywhere. And another, the next match that we have upcoming on the show is the Extreme Style Championship match. And now, as we didn't have en enough Extreme stuff on the show, we are going to follow it up with Shinsuke Nakamura and Drew McIntyre. In the next match here at GCW WrestleMania, as Chris Jericho is looking down from the ladder with his Money in the Bank briefcase. He knows he did it. He's going to be a big name in GCW moving forward. And now we're getting ready here for our second match of the night. It's the Extreme Style Championship match between Shinsuke Nakamura and Drew McIntyre. And here comes the man that made his GCW debut at the Royal Rumble last month, Drew McIntyre. And he had a very impressive showing and he fits into the Extreme Style division so well. McIntyre, of course, made it here tonight by eliminating Shinsuke Nakamura from the Royal Rumble match via Claymore kick.
The only question is, can Drew McIntyre repeat what he did at the Royal Rumble here tonight at GCW WrestleMania? It's a huge stage for him, and his first singles match is for the Extreme Style Championship, so huge opportunity for McIntyre here tonight. The Extreme Style Championship is our newest championship here in GCW, and this is the first title defense for Shinsuke Nakamura after securing the uh, brand new championship belt at the Royal Rumble. And this championship is not about hardcore matches, it is more about an extreme style, a strong style that these uh, workers uh, bring to the table here tonight. And it's not about using steel chairs, tables, ladders, it's more about the hard-hitting style that both of these men will bring to the table here tonight. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, obviously known as the king of strong style, and Drew McIntyre, the Scottish psychopath, also known for his really hard-hitting style. So this match is going to be a really, really interesting one. And here he comes, our extreme style champion crowned at the GCW Raw Rumble. He is also the reason this belt got brought into existence at the first place. Um, this dates back to last year's GCW WrestleMania 6 when Nakamura and Wyatt went to war and owner Mr. McMahon want to see wanted to see more of this kind of style in GCW so he decided to bring in a championship belt and if this match gets any close to what was Wyatt and Nakamura last year this match is going to be brutal Drew McIntyre obviously a way different opponent than Bray Wyatt for Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, I wonder how Ma Nakamura fares against McIntyre here tonight. And here we see the prize that is on the line, the beautiful brand new GCW Extreme Style Championship. Here it is again. And here we go, Nakamura going right after McIntyre with a boot. Now, want to follow it up with the knee to the ribs. Brutal by Nakamura. Nakamura now into the ropes, but McIntyre runs through him like a freight train, my god. McIntyre now throwing Nakamura onto the knees and following it up with another one, my god, to Nakamura's ribs. And now McIntyre going into the ropes, and what a lariat turns Nakamura inside out. Was it outside in because this came from the back, but no matter what, it was brutal. And now McIntyre going to follow it up with some right hands to Nakamura. And now here choking him in the corner. Now uh, there's no rope breaks here uh, because this is the extreme style, but uh, Nakamura now getting a hold of McIntyre and somehow getting him outside of the ring and they land hard and Nakamura following it up now with some right hands to McIntyre on the floor. Nakamura putting McIntyre into the post but McIntyre blocks. Nice form by McIntyre. Lifts him up and the rips go into the barricades again and McIntyre and Nakamura goes into the ring post hard. But I think luckily, his, it was only his back, his head didn't hit, otherwise he might have had a concussion here already. And now what does Drew McIntyre have in mind here? Nakamura counters with a kick to the face. And now Nakamura going after McIntyre. Nice takedown here by Nakamura and another kick to the back of the head of McIntyre. 
And now Nakamura might be getting some control, but McIntyre, what a suplex, belly to belly suplex, and he's following it up with another one, and Mop Nakamura crashes down on the mad heart. And I'm surprised how Drew McIntyre's dominating Shinsuke Nakamura here. Now, and McIntyre putting Nakamura up, but a oh, nice strike from Nakamura. And he wants to follow up that with a Kinshasa to the back of the head, but Nakamura and uh, McIntyre moves out of the way. Another kick here by Nakamura. Uh, what? McIntyre counter. And oh, high angle power bomb. And Nakamura able to kick out here, but that was close. What a hard power bomb by Drew McIntyre. Now McIntyre getting. And Nakamura back up, going for a suplex. But what is Nakamura doing? Backstabber! And coming all the way down from that suplex, I think that backstabber had some extra power on it. And then it would normally have had a Nakamura now on the outside here on the apron. Nakamura running and wow, what a knee to Drew McIntyre's back of the head. Back in the ring here, Nakamura is uh, looking for his knee strike. I think there he goes. Oh, oh, what a, what a Glasgow kiss. And I think that might not only have knocked out Nakamura, but also McIntyre. He's down. The, these hats cl uh, clashed into each other hard. And, but McIntyre able, I think McIntyre is coming back to his senses. He still looks a little bit dizzy here after ramming his head right into Nakamura's that that was brutal and now he wants to follow it up with the future shock DDT Nakamura's out but no Nakamura nice slam counter here Nakamura and now he might be able to hit that vicious Kinshasa knee strike to uh, Drew McIntyre finally Nakamura goes for it but McIntyre catches him back suplex Nakamura on his feet Nakamura going for the exploder McIntyre on his feet Claymore! Claymore! Just like that, Drew McIntyre gets his first title in GCW, but Nakamura has his foot on the rope. Foot on the rope, pin stopped. How did Nakamura do that after that um, Glasgow kiss and followed up by, by the Claymore? Unbelievable, but uh, what is Drew McIntyre planning right now? He's running, and he's going for another claim on it hits just like at the Rumble. This is how he eliminated Shinsuke Nakamura from the Rumble, and Nakamura crashed hard to the floor. I don't know if Nakamura is able to continue this, but what is Drew McIntyre? He's not going for his knee drop from there. That could crush Nakamura's head knee drop, but Nakamura out of the way, luckily. That would have cost Nakamura the match, maybe his career, but he got out of the way, and McIntyre's knee seems hurt. Yeah, McIntyre's knee crushed into the floor and he's telling the official that he, that he can't get, get up. His knee is crushed maybe, but Nakamura doesn't care. Pulls him back in the ring and goes for the exploder. And it goes through and uh, McIntyre landed on that knee again. And you can see the pain in McIntyre's face. And Kinshasa and just like that, Shinsuke Nakamura turned this match around. But oh, McIntyre out at two. But what does this for McIntyre? He can't even get up. Now he's telling Nakamura to finish him off. And Nakamura going back, I think going for another Kinshasa. But oh, charging Glasgow kiss. And if Shinsuke Nakamura didn't have a concussion yet, he has now. And McIntyre somehow on one leg trying to get Nakamura up. Following it up, Future Shock DDT. Nakamura down. And that is it. Drew McIntyre has won the Extreme Style Championship on his first try. He on the huge stage of GCW WrestleMania 7. And now you see uh, 
Shinsuke Nakamura and some medical personnel coming to check on him because what happened to Nakamura's head tonight wasn't human, ladies and gentlemen. But there you can see on the stage Drew McIntyre, our new extreme style champion. And um, we are far from done yet. Next off, we have the GCW Tag Team Championship match between the Young Bucks and Braun Strowman and Ray Wyatt. Um, I don't know what that means for the Young Bucks, but I, I think we might see some new Tag Team Champions tonight as well because Strowman and Wyatt, together as a team, I don't see that they can be stopped. And now we're getting ready for some tag team action here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Um, GCW Tag Team Championships are on the line. And here comes the monster among men. And now we still have to figure out how this alliance between Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt came about. Back at GCW WrestleMania 5 two years ago, Vince McMahon did bring in Braun Strowman to fight a war with the Wyatt family. This all ended at the GCW Raw Rumble in 2018 uh, where the Wyatt family uh, won a six-man tag team match over the McMahons and Braun Strowman. Now after that, Strowman wasn't seen anymore in GCW and then made his return this year at the Royal Rumble. And then at the house show, Strowman attacked at the Young Bucks and Bray Wyatt later on joined him and uh, they challenged the Bucks for a tag team championship match at, at uh, this year's Wrestlemania. And now Bray Wyatt just appeared in the ring too. And look at this team. This is going to be a tough one for the Young Bucks. And the Young Bucks now have been tag team champions since 2016. Of course, longest reigning GCW tag team champions in history. They won the belts in a six man tag um, winner takes all match with Kenny Omega, who back then won his Intercontinental Championship. And here we see the brand new GCW Tag Team Championship design, which is a beautiful uh, replacement for our old belts. And the Young Bucks for sure want to hold on to these new beauties for a little bit longer. But I see their, their time ticking here tonight with Strowman and Wyatt being the challengers. At GCW WrestleMania 5, the Young Bucks had a classic match with American Alpha for the Tag Team Championships. Then, WrestleMania 6 last year against the Usos, Young Bucks both a very impressive showing and they came out victorious in both. And while I would have put money on the Young Bucks in the past two years this year, I would not with Strowman and Wyatt being the challengers. Now we're getting ready to get the match started. The referee holding up these uh, beautiful new tag team championships. And here we have a good look at them again. And it looks like Matt Jackson is starting off against Braun Strowman. And here we go. And you see it on Ma Matt Jackson's face. He doesn't really know what to do. But goes for a super kick early. But it didn't even face Strowman. And now Strowman going after Jackson and just launches him around the ring. And I really have no idea how the Young Bucks could get an upper hand here in the match. It just seems impossible. Just look at the size of Strowman. Now Jackson ducking the clothesline by Strowman going for the Hurricane Rana. But Strowman just puts him up into a power slam position. And Nick in to save him. Strowman just boots him out the ring. And Strowman just launching Matt onto Nick to the outside. And Strowman uh, dominating the matchup early here as expected. Now he comes running around the ring and just tackles both Young Bucks and turns them inside out on the outside. Now going after Matt and just throwing him back into the ring. 
Now Strowman going to follow it up with his... Oh, I think he's going for that reversed choke slam, and it goes through. But oh, nice Enzo Geary by Nick Jackson jumping. Now, but Strowman caught him by the throat, but Nick counters and slingshots Strowman here in the rope and super kick by Matt. And now the Young Bucks might get some uh, upper hand here, but Strowman just running and drops kicks Matt Jackson. This kind of feels like a handicap match here as Nick trying to hold on Strowman's ankle. Now Matt, nice move by Matt Jackson. And as now he's talking to his brother Nick, talking some strategy, I guess. And the Young Bucks are fleeing up the stage while Strowman looks confused what is going on. The Bucks taunting Strowman to come up and Strowman uh, follows and now runs up the ramp. Clothesline to Nick, but there's Matt from behind. And now, what do the Young Bucks have in mind? Oh, are, are they going to try to throw Strowman off the stage? That would be huge. That would put Strowman out for the rest of the match if they can do it. Otherwise, I don't see them getting an upper hand on Strowman, but this could be it. And look at Bray Wyatt. He doesn't even care. He just watches on, relaxed on the apron. But Strowman fighting free now off the Young Bucks. And now he has Matt by the throat. And just, oh, throws him down the stage. But from behind, Nick, super kick. And now Nick, what is he trying to do? Strowman, oh, just throws him down the stage to his brother, Matt. And now, I don't like the look in Strowman's face. Is he going to run down the stage to tackle the Young Bucks? Yes, there comes Strowman, but both Bucks out of the way, and Strowman crashes right into the ring. Matt going to follow it up with a moonsault. Strowman still able to catch him, but Nick from behind drop kicks Strowman into the back, and there he goes into the post. And I don't want to say the the Bucks have the upper hand now, but they have a chance now to hit something on Strowman. But all their offense wouldn't work on Strowman. He's just too heavy now. They gotta come up with something new, and they do splash DDT into the cover, but a kick out by Strowman. The important thing now is to keep Strowman down, and I guess the Bucks are going to try that. Now hitting Strowman in the head, and now they're going to follow it up. Double super kick, but Strowman still doesn't go down. Maybe another one, but no, Strowman catches both of them by the throat, going for the double choke slam, and it connects. And I think now Strowman could finish up this match. He's uh, getting mad up, and yes, he's going for his running power slam on Matt Jackson. The legal man and the power slam connects, but there comes Nick, splash! And Nick just saved the Young Bucks the tack bells here. But Strowman just gets up right after the splash. Now Nick ducking under the clothesline. Oh, nice elbow strike by, by Nick Jackson. Now into the ropes, ducks the boot, and now Strowman caught in the rope, and double super kick to the back of the head. Oh, and now they're setting up for that hanging 450 splash. And if that can go through, yes it does. And now the Young Bucks maybe have Strowman. Well, Wyatt still doesn't really care, just watching on on the apron. And now, oh, he can't go for more bang for your buck. Strowman is just too heavy. He's just too heavy. And yeah, Strowman throws Matt into Nick. Now picks him up for the power slam. Nick trying to save him here, but Strowman just catches him too. And now he runs double power slam. And I think Braun Strowman just finished up the Young Bucks by himself. That is it. And now the lights went off, and now we see Bray Wyatt in the ring for the first time tonight, holding both tag team championships. And that is kind of strange. Bray Wyatt didn't even uh, help Strowman in the match. But they are the tag team champions now. You gotta wonder what this relationship between the two of those is. Second title match of the night and the second title change. I would wonder how many titles will change in total here tonight. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you, Sister Abigail. I wanted to say thank you 
for giving me your greatest gift the black sheep broad Strowman <laughs> for Brown this is your moment because you see ladies and gentlemen for thousands of years mankind has attempted to predict when the end of the world will be well I'm afraid that after tonight there will be no more time for guessing the seventh trumpet sounds and tonight we walk among you undisguised <laughs> and now Braun Strowman show the world the face of their destruction this isn't the beginning it's the end Ladies and gentlemen, you are getting ready for some cruiserweight action. The cruiserweight championship on the line. Hiromu Takahashi having to put his championship on the line against Rey Mysterio and Will Ospreay. Mysterio found his way into the match by winning a three-way number one contenders match back and back from the dead. Then Ospreay found his way into the match by eliminating Hiromu Takahashi from the Royal Rumble via Spanish Fly. And Hiromu Takahashi has been the GCW Cruiserweight Champion for quite some time now. Last year, great Cruiserweight Championship here at WrestleMania. Last year, we had an epic Cruiserweight Championship match between Hiromu Takahashi, Finn Balor, Neville, and Ricochet. And Hiromu Takahashi ended up at pinning Ricochet in that one to uh, defend his Cruiserweight Championship. But tonight, it's a three-way. It's Mysterio and Osprey, and here we go. And Hiromu not wasting any time, going right for the super kick. Kick by Osprey. here. Osprey now with the forearm on Hiromu, sending him into the ropes. There goes Hiromu, sunset flip. There goes Osprey. Oh, Mysterio kick to the back of the head of Hiromu now. Uh, Mysterio ducking the clothesline and there comes Mysterio with the uh, cross body and now Mysterio going into the ropes following it up with a Hurricane Rana and Osprey goes to the outside. Now Mysterio going after the Cruiserweight Champion here, forearm to Hiromu and now sending Hiromu into the ropes. Hiromu goes and Mysterio ducks him. Now Mysterio going for his Bulldog but I think Hiromu caught him and oh German suplex. And there goes Ray to the ring apron, and he, Hiromu finds him in position for his uh, power bomb. Hiromu goes to the outside power bomb already, but no, Ray counter and the Hurricane Rana into the guardrail. And now there's uh, Will Osprey sensing some opportunity here for himself, going for the Sasuke special, and it connects beautifully. Very, very nice by Osprey. Picture perfect there by Will Osprey now going. To the top rope, Pep Pep Cheerio hitting on Mysterio. And now Osprey taking control of the matchup here with the uh, chops to Mysterio. And now he finds Mysterio in position, perhaps looking for his uh, top rope 619 on the master of the 619. But Mysterio ducks now a forearm. And there comes Mysterio off the ropes. What is Ray doing? Tornado DDT spikes Osprey on the head. And he lands right in the position for the 619. And Ray styling it in. 619 connects already early in the matchup. Ray Mysterio now going for the springboard splash. And it connects as well. But there's Hiromu. Oh my god, with the destroyer. Ray goes to the outside. Hiromu Takahashi saving the matchup here. That could have already been it now he's going to try to go for time bomb but Osprey not letting that happen nice kick 
to the midsection, going for the off cutter. You already, Hiromu goes underneath, and what a lariat by Hiromu! And now, what does the cruiserweight champion have in mind here? Hiromu into the ropes, but Osprey jumps off Hiromu. Now going for the Angel Giri connects very nicely by Will Osprey and Hiromu super kick. Osprey saw it coming, going for the shooting star. No. And a Robo super kick to the face of Osprey. Very nice. Now following up with the German, but Osprey says no to Hiromu. Again, chance for the Os cutter, but Hiromu catches him. And Hiromu catches him in the suplex position. But there's Ray going for the seat in Phantom. Oh my god! What a crazy combination here by Mysterio and Takahashi. Now uh, Takahashi going to the outside. Mysterio going for the Drop kick, yeah, there goes Hiromu, but that was a crazy thing what just happened there to Will Ospreay. Now Mysterio following it up with the Hurricane Rana, picture perfect to the outside to Hiromu Takahashi. Now uh, Mysterio going to follow that up, I think, uh, hitting Hiromu's head into the ring apron. Now Ray going to the um, apron, but Hiromu got him. Hiromu, oh, nice power bomb to the ring apron. And now Hiromu in the ring, uh, going after Will Ospreay, perhaps looking to go for that Death Rock Valley driver in the corner, but Ospreay able to roll through. Now, oh, lifting Hiromu up for the power bump, very nice. Hiromu Hurricane Rana, but Ospreay counters it, goes into the rope, and what a kick by Ospreay. Unbelievable athleticism here by Will Ospreay. And now Will Ospreay, Hiromu going for the pop-up power bomb, but Osprey counters very nice. What a super kick to Hiromu. Now Osprey going to follow that up, but there he goes, Hiromu. Oh, Hiromu flips over right into the tombstone position. Osprey now Hurricane Rana counter. Hiromu counters it again. What a slam. Incredible in-ring chemistry here from Hiromu Takahashi and Will Osprey. And Hiromu Takahashi perhaps looking to end this match right now, going for the Death Valley driver in the corner, and Osprey landed on his neck there. Brutal, brutal, and now the double knees, and it connects. And now Hiromu got this match in the back, I think, but there's Mysterio on the top rope. Hiromu caught him, and now he's going for his pin there. A very dangerous move by Hiromu from the top rope, but Ray catches him, and here comes Osprey with the drop kick in the corner. And now Oh, he's going to go for the Stormbreaker on Rey Mysterio. Rey trying to counter with the Hurricane Rana. Osprey catches him, power bump, but no! Into the Sunset Flip! Kick out by Osprey. And now Mysterio going into the ropes. Osprey flipping over right into the power bump position. Mysterio Hurricane Rana. Hiromu suplex at Osprey into the top rope and crashes hard on the mat. Lariat by Hiromu to Mysterio. And now this is the opening that Hiromu needed here. Hiromu setting up Rey Mysterio. What is he going for? Oh my god, Death Valley driver onto Osprey perhaps in the corner there. Hiromu coming but Osprey getting up and oh my god, a Spanish fly. Will Osprey just hit the Spanish fly on Rey Mysterio and Hiromu Takahashi at the same time. And now he's calling for it. Oscutter. Oscutter coming, Osprey into the rope, but what is Hiromu doing? Oh my god, reverse Rana, and Osprey spiked on his head. Unbelievable counter by Hiromu Takahashi that might have taken out Will Osprey here. And Hiromu going for his power bomb to the outside to Ray, and oh, Ray crashes to the floor. And now Hiromu Takahashi back into the ring, Will Osprey laying there, now setting up time bomb. This is going to be it. Hey, time bump. No. Osprey out of it. Going for the Oscutter again. Oscutter connects. No. Hiromu rolled through. Going for the super kick. But Osprey first with the super kick. And Hiromu on his knees. And Osprey taking off the elbow pad. And that means hidden blade. Oh my god. By that sound, I think Hiromu Takahashi has just suffered. A concussion. Osprey loading him up for the storm breaker and it goes through. And Osprey into the cover. 
and we have a new Cruiserweight Champion. The Cruiserweights delivered once again here at GCW WrestleMania. What a triple threat match, and we have a brand new Cruiserweight Champion in Will Ospreay. And ladies and gentlemen, this was only the first out of two through triple threat matches we have here for you tonight. The Intercontinental Championship going to be defended in a triple threat match later on tonight. And here is Will Ospreay celebrating his Cruiserweight Championship victory. And I wonder what is next for this young man here, Will Ospreay. What a performance he put up here tonight. And he's going out the new GCW Cruiserweight Champion. What a night here so far at GCW WrestleMania 7. New Tag Team Champions just crowned. New Extreme Style Champion crowned. And right now, we will be going into John Cena's Open Challenge. And here he comes. And after tonight, John Cena and Dolph Ziggler will be the only two men that have competed at every single GCW WrestleMania in history. Now Cena coming out of last year's WrestleMania, he lost to Cody back in GCW WrestleMania 5. He had the dream match with Kazuchi Kalkata, came out victorious uh, on that one. WrestleMania 4 was him and his former tag team partner Randy Orton. And John Cena overall has a great history here at GCW WrestleMania and I hope there are many more years to come for John Cena here competing at GCW WrestleMania. Now the question is who will be taking his open challenge this year? Um, I'm really looking forward to see who it will be. And oh my, can it be? The Viper is back in GCW? Three years ago at GCW WrestleMania, it was John Cena and Randy Orton and the loser would leave GCW and Cena victorious over Orton back in the day. And now Randy Orton is taking John Cena's open challenge here tonight? Orton back in the day was under the assumption that Cena and him were taking away time from younger talent to be on GCW shows, to headline GCW shows. He wanted John Cena to retire. of course have incredible history at GCW WrestleMania. GCW WrestleMania 2 in the main event it was Cena, Orton and CM Punk in a triple threat match for the GCW Championship. WrestleMania 3 it was Orton, Cena and Punk teaming against 
the Shield, who uh, made their debut on the scene in GCW, and uh, Team GCW was Orton, Punk, and Cena, and then of course WrestleMania 4, Orton and Cena, when Orton left the company. And now we see these two face to face, and you can see the shock in John Cena's eyes that Randy Orton came back here tonight to answer his open challenge. And Orton right for the RKO! And the Viper is back in GCW with an RKO! And John Cena just stunned on the outside and now Orton kicking John Cena's head to the outside. My God, Randy Orton is back and he looks in incredible shape. And now the referee checking on John Cena if he is ready to compete and he decides he is and Orton goes right after Cena now, um, punching Cena in the face here. And now stomp into the heart of Cena and I think John Cena is just incredibly stunned by Orton coming back and then hitting him with the RKO immediately and now Randy Orton Cena into the ropes and Orton with a shoulder block and now Orton following it up with the knee drop right into the face of Cena into the cover but Cena able to kick out at two And now Randy Orton setting up John Cena here on the uh, top rope. Uh, what is Orton going for? Back suplex possibly, but Cena hitting the right hand on Orton. And now that might be an opening for Cena and the leg drop from the top rope. And now John Cena following it up with the fisherman suplex here. And Orton rolls to the outside. But now Cena on the top, and Orton drop kick catches him midair. Drop kick midair here by Orton on the outside. While well, John Cena was looking for a dive on Orton. Orton now got Cena back into the ring. What is Orton trying to follow it up with? And Orton going into the rope, but Cena with a shoulder tackle. Now going for another one, but Orton scoop slam. Oh my god, what a counter. And now Cena rolling to the outside and Randy Orton sees his chance to hit that draping DDT and he spikes Cena on his head and now Randy Orton already looking to finish it off uh, going for the RKO RKO no Cena able to counter Orton into the ropes and Cena what a German and Orton landed right on his neck and now Cena trying to follow it up with the attitude adjustment but Orton says no and Orton into the backbreaker. And a drop kick to the back of the head of Cena. Now the RKO, but Cena catches him again. Orton blocks it again. RKO, now it goes through. Second RKO, and that must be it. Randy Orton picks up the victory. And Randy Orton really made quick work here of John Cena uh, here tonight, making making uh, taking advantage of this whole upset that he showed up at the first place and then at RKO immediately right out of the gate and now you gotta wonder uh, what Randy Orton will be up to in GCW and I am just getting word here that GCW will be airing an episode after GCW WrestleMania and Randy Orton will be on the show and he will be explaining his return to GCW, why he decided to come back in the first place, and all that stuff that uh, we have to find our answers on here. And uh, Randy Orton seems to be back full time in GCW. And ladies and gentlemen, we just keep going here tonight at GCW WrestleMania 7. Now it's time for the rematch from last year's Wrestlemania. It's The Undertaker versus Dolph Ziggler.
And now, this match is so important for the Deadman. Last year, GCW WrestleMania 6, Dolph Ziggler managed to pull an upset on The Undertaker, beat him in seconds. Undertaker then made his return at GCW back from the dead this year after Dolph Ziggler's championship match against Kenny Omega. Undertaker hit the tombstone pile driver on Dolph Ziggler. Then going into the Royal Rumble, Undertaker had a shot against Kenny Omega in which match uh, Dolph Ziggler did interfere, hit a super kick on The Undertaker. Undertaker ultimately lost to Kenny Omega, but what Undertaker was really back for in GCW anyway was a rematch with Dolph Ziggler. And now tonight here at this sold out crowd at GCW WrestleMania 7, The Undertaker looks to make up for last year. This is so important to The Undertaker. The last year was an embarrassment to him and he wants to make up for it here tonight. And you can hear the crowd here tonight in full support of the dead man. And here comes the man who might have had two of the best WrestleManias back to back. GCW WrestleMania 5, Dolph Ziggler won. Money in the bank cashed in the same night to become GCW champion. Then last year, WrestleMania 6 beat The Undertaker in record timing. And as mentioned earlier, Ziggler and John Cena are the only two men that have competed at every single GCW WrestleMania. And two years ago, Dolph Ziggler went into GCW WrestleMania 5 with absolutely nothing to lose but the last two years have been very successful for the show off and I think tonight he goes into this match having everything to lose and Ziggler obviously very proud about uh, defeating The Undertaker at last year's uh, GCW WrestleMania but uh, what would happen to Ziggler's ego if The Undertaker beats him here tonight and makes it one to one and you can see Ziggler again stepping into Undertaker's face with zero fear in his eyes but Undertaker looks mad. Undertaker I think is going to go hard tonight on Dolph Ziggler. And here we go, and Undertaker going for the choke slam immediately. As Ziggler counters, super kick, just like last year. Ziggler going to follow it up with the zigzag, but oh, Taker, Taker this time, able to throw Ziggler off. And I think Ziggler was going for another upset there, just like last year. But now Taker having him in the corner and taking control of the matchup. That was scary for The Undertaker, but I think now he's in control. And Undertaker going here for a splash in the corner. Nice by Taker. But now Ziggler going for some forearms here on The Undertaker. But Undertaker with the big boot. And what a strike here by the dead man and Undertaker in control of this matchup. Now ascending Ziggler into the ropes, but Ziggler ducks the big boot again. 
And what a drop kick by Ziggler. Nice. Picture perfect drop kick by Ziggler. One of the best drop kicks in the business. And now Ziggler following it up with the uh, uh, forearm on Undertaker there in the ropes. Ziggler going into the ropes too. But oh, Undertaker. Nice. Vintage Undertaker here. And Taker going to throw Ziggler in the corner, but Ziggler goes overboard and falls outside the ring. And now Undertaker going for Snake Eyes in the uh, guardrail. Nice. Ziggler head first into the guardrail, but now what is Taker looking for to follow it up with? Ziggler kick to the stomach. And what is Ziggler planning? Oh, he's going for that satellite DDT, but Undertaker says no. Throws Ziggler off. What is Undertaker doing? Oh my god, did you hear that? Ziggler's head crashed hard into the concrete here. And now Taker is setting up Ziggler for his uh, guillotine leg drop here. And Undertaker going for the leg drop. Ziggler out of the way. Now Ziggler got Taker... Oh, what a hanging neckbreaker over the top rope. And just like that, I think control of the matchup here is switched to Ziggler. And now Ziggler, oh, going for the heart stopper elbows. Another one here. And now Ziggler, oh, he's going to follow it up with the jumping one. But Taker catches him by the throat. And now maybe Undertaker can hit the choke slam. He's going for it, but Ziggler catches him by the head. And oh, satellite DDT right into the cover here. Taker out at two, but that was close. And Dolph Ziggler, now what is he looking for? I think he's setting up for the Famouser, but Undertaker catches him. Ziggler just jumped into last right. And Ziggler just kicked out of last ride. But Ziggler obviously hurt by that last ride by The Undertaker. Now what is Taker going for? Uh, Taker going for clothesline. Ziggler ducks. Super kick. But Taker blocks that. Throws Ziggler down. Now a Ziggler here in the ropes. And Taker clotheslines Dolph Ziggler to the outside. But, uh, what is the under... No, no, not the dive. Undertaker going for his signature dive and he hits it. And nowadays, the Undertaker doesn't pull out that dive a lot anymore. It takes a huge toll on his body. The Undertaker over 50 years old and he's still diving over the top rope to the outside. And now it might finally be time for the choke slam. Going for the choke slam, but Ziggler reverses again and the super kick hits and Taker is stunned. Now, zigzag. Oh my god, what a lariat! And Ziggler landed on his head. Taker going to follow it up with the last ride again. Another last ride, but oh, Ziggler face buster. What an exchange and Ziggler into the cover, but Undertaker out at two. Dolph Ziggler just came so close to beating The Undertaker again at GCW WrestleMania. Now, is he going for a super kick? Undertaker still stunned by that face buster, but Undertaker catches him. Super kick. Ziggler flips over. Now, Ziggler is going for his back slam. I, I don't think he can pull that on, on The Undertaker, but Undertaker elbow. Undertaker now. But Ziggler. Oh, vintage Zig using his wrestling skills on The Undertaker and oh, he clips the neck of The Undertaker. Now, he might be following it up with the zigzag. Ziggler going to beat The Undertaker again here at Jesse W WrestleMania. But oh, Taker reverses Tombstone Pile Driver. <laughs> Revenge one year later. The Undertaker has defeated Dolph Ziggler. And this must feel so good for The Undertaker. Over a year, he has been obsessing about how Dolph Ziggler beat him at WrestleMania. Now, he was able to beat the show off here tonight, Retribution. 
for The Undertaker. And ladies and gentlemen, that was just one of our three main events here tonight. Next off, we will have the Intercontinental Championship. Roman Reigns defending against Seth Rollins and Tetsuya Naito in a triple threat. And then of course, later on, we will have AJ Styles and Kenny Omega for leadership of the Bullet Club and the GCW Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, right now, let's get ready for the Intercontinental Championship. And now let's look into the backstory of tonight's matchup. We had at GCW WrestleMania 6 last year, it was Roman Reigns putting his Intercontinental Championship on the line against Tetsuya Naito. After a Los Ingo Benable stay upon got involved in the match, as Seth Rollins ended up making his GCW return. Naito getting distracted by that and then being speared from the top rope by Roman Reigns. And that night the Shield was found reunited and they went to war in the upcoming shows against Los Ingo Benables Day Upon. Naito pinned Roman Reigns twice after that in six-man tags. And tonight GCW WrestleMania 7 is brought to you by Ringside Collectibles. Grab the newest WWE figures at ringsidecollectibles.com. Discount code Natty will save you 10% at checkout. So after having multiple uh, pinfall victories over Reigns, Naito obviously qualified for the match here. Rollins then eliminated Naito from the Rumble, which made him being added to the match here tonight. And here comes Tetsuya Naito. And we gotta wonder, is Naito alone or will he be brought to the ring by Los Ingo Benables day upon tonight? Naito is alone and that is very interesting because the odds are really stacked against him here tonight because you can think that Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins who both have issues with Naito might be working together as a unit here tonight against Tetsuya Naito. And you gotta wonder if Naito isn't successful here tonight he will probably be at the end of the line because Naito now in the Intercontinental Championship match at GCW WrestleMania two years in a row as a challenger. And we can't forget tonight about Dean Ambrose who was uh, taken out by Naito and Evil at the Royal Rumble. Naito hit a vicious destino on the stage and then Evil followed up with Darkness Falls off the stage and that made Dean Ambrose not being able to compete here tonight at GCW WrestleMania. And here comes the champion and I think the champion here tonight, Roman Reigns, has something to prove. Naito has pinned him the last two encounters they had. Then Naito also eliminated Reigns from the Rumble so Roman Reigns is really looking to make up for this tonight. Great night here so far at GCW WrestleMania as the big dog is walking down the stage in front of a sold out crowd. The GCW Intercontinental Championship, obviously a very prestigious prize here in GCW. Kenny Omega, who is now the current GCW Champion, was the last Intercontinental Champion before Roman Reigns. He used the title as a stepping stone into the main event where he finds himself tonight. Of course you can remember the classic with CM Punk at GCW WrestleMania 5. That's what really made this title what it is today.
here we see the title and we're ready to go I think now referees calling for the bell and the match is on and like I thought Rollins and Reigns have their focus both on Naito and Naito realizes that and goes to the outside here and now Reigns and Rollins going at it so oh and Roman Reigns showing his strength here against Rollins and there's Tetsuya Naito from behind and like I imagine now Rollins going after Naito with forearms here against Naito now ascending him into the ropes and Naito with a kick to Rollins' knee. And what a right hand by Reigns. Now Rollins ducking the boot. Rollins kicks Reigns. Rollins into the ropes. But Roman Reigns and oh, Reigns goes flying to the outside. And Rollins perhaps looking for his Topi Suicida. But Naito catches him with a drop kick. And now Reigns going after Naito here from the outside, picking him up and slamming him onto that stage part right there. And there comes Rollins with the suicide dive now. Very quick start to the match here. And now Rollins trying to follow it up with, I, I don't know what Rollins is going for. But Naito reversing and there goes Rollins into the guardrail that is placed there on the entrance station. What is Naito doing? Oh my god, what a neck breaker! And Naito is known for buttering up his opponent's necks so he can go for his vicious destino. Now uh, Naito here uh, uh, bringing Reigns into the corner. Now uh, perhaps going for the combination. And there comes Naito going for the dropkick. Reigns wants to counter with a spear. That's what he did last year, but Naito saw it coming. Smart by Naito and a missile dropkick. Naito avoiding the spear here tonight. He couldn't do that last year, but tonight Naito able to avoid the spear by Roman. Now going for the DDT, Roman blocks it. Now Roman into the ropes, Naito ducks. Naito into the rope, going for a spin kick, no, rolls through, there comes Roman, spear, but Naito again over the spear, and now we see him in the tranquilo position, oh my god, and Naito always one step ahead of Roman Reigns here tonight, but there comes Seth Rollins with the frog splash, and Rollins is back, but we gotta think, maybe this uh, neck breaker on the stage, uh, put some damage on his neck now Roman with the elbow to uh, Rollins following it up with a boot now Reigns going for a suplex but Rollins jumps over oh what a kick to the face and now Rollins kick to Naito's midsection and now Rollins coming from the rope but Naito moves out of the way and wow drop kick right to that maybe injured neck of Rollins And now Naito going after Reigns, but Reigns got him, Samoan drop, and oh, a high angle Samoan drop, Naito landed on his head. That looked pretty bad for Naito, now Reigns going after Rollins with this, oh, nice suplex, and Rollins again landed on his neck, of course. And yeah, it's every man for himself here tonight, and Roman Reigns going to... Follow it up with his um, Razor's Edge into Power Bomb, but Rollins, nice counter, Hurricane Rana, and Naito with the kick, sending Reigns to the outside. And now, super kick by Rollins, and what is Rollins looking for now? Oh, he's going for his Buckle Bomb, Buckle Bomb by Rollins, but Naito... Naito wants to turn it into a reverse Frankenstein, but no, Rollins reverses that, now Rollins into the ropes, and Sling Blade by Rollins! And now Rollins uh, taking control of the matchup right here, Rollins into the ropes, but Naito with the one leg drop kick there, that turned Rollins inside out, now Frankenstein reversed, oh my god! And yes, Rollins holding the neck. I think his neck is shot right now.
And Naito realizing that and setting up for the Destino. But oh, Rollins able to uh, save himself here with a vicious kick to the back of that of Naito. And now following it up with the Falcon Arrow here on Naito. And now uh, Rollins seeing Roman Reigns on the outside. But Naito is right back up. And oh, oh, Dragon Suplex and Rollins again on the neck. And now it's time for Destino. No, Superman punch from Roman Reigns. He comes in from behind. Another Superman punch by Rollins. Rollins has Reigns. Rollins has Reigns. Going for the revolutionary knee. Rollins has him. But Roman out at two. But Rollins almost had Reigns here. Now I think he wants to finish him off. Rollins is looking for the curb stomp. Now waiting for Reigns to get up. Rollins setting up for the curb stomp. Roman Reigns out of the way, but from behind, Naito, Destino! But there comes Roman, Naito, spin kick, can't take advantage of Rollins. And now, what is Naito looking for, going into the ropes? But there comes Roman and turns him inside out with the lariat. My god, momentum shifting from one man to the other, now Roman Reigns in position for the spear. And here he comes, but Naito able to block the spear once again. Now got him in a suplex position. Roman with the elbow. Naito ducks it. Naito got him again. Now Roman into the ropes. And Naito with the Rana. And now uh, Naito looking to plant Roman Reigns on his head. But Rollins from behind catching him. And th th they're setting up for the shield bomb. Shield bomb by Rollins and Reigns. But oh Seth, look out! There comes Roman! Spear! Spear! And Seth Rollins just kicked out of the spear. And Roman Reigns can't believe that now throwing Seth to the outside and I think Seth is done for tonight man Destino spear in his neck in bad condition now Roman Reigns here with Naito oh Naito slapped to the face of Roman and now Naito spitting in Roman Reigns face and oh I, I see the anger in the eyes of Roman Reigns clothesline but Naito ducks it Destino Naito did it! Naito did it! Kick out at two again! This is the importance of WrestleMania to these men. Able to kick out out of each other's finishing moves. Now Rollins back in there! Knee strike! And now Rollins with some newfound life here and Rollins saying he wants to finish it off perhaps with the reverse Rana on Naito but Naito able to prevent it now got Rollins on the shoulders Reigns from behind oh my god and the referee's right here on Rollins he probably did some big damage to his neck with that move but oh my god God, what is going on you ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, Rollins seems out. Rollins is out now. Roman looking at, at, at Seth and Naito here. And Naito with the low kick to Roman. And now, no, what is Naito doing? Oh, he's starting to kick Rollins now. He, he's getting Rollins out of the ring. No, what is Naito? The referee telling him not to do whatever he has in mind. Naito, don't do it. Rollins is hurt. He is hurt. No, oh my God! The German suplex on the ring apron. Tetsuya Naito is a crazy man, ladies and gentlemen. And he's just telling the referee to calm down a little, stay a little tranquil. Medical staff now checking on Rollins, obviously on the outside. Now Naito looking to, to take advantage of all this. Now only got Reigns left here in the ring. Now Naito perhaps going for the assisted Destino left the rope, but Roman got him. 
But Naito, oh, very nice tornado DDT. And yes, if uh, Naito can hit another Destino and Reigns, that is going to be it. But Reigns able to counter it. Now clothesline, Naito, oh, Reigns going for the spear. Spear, but Naito again, one step ahead of Roman Reigns. Every time Roman Reigns wants to hit the spear on Naito, he is one step ahead and counters it. And now German into the bridge, into the cover. Now maybe, oh, Roman kick out. And now Naito bringing Reigns in the corner and uh, putting him up. Oh, Naito perhaps looking for his top rope Hurricane Rana. Yeah, setting up Reigns for that. And that is where it cost Tetsuya Naito the match last year. This is where Seth Rollins showed up on the stage. And Rollins is, is, Rollins is climbing back in the ring. Naito distracted. Reigns. Spear, but Naito again out of the way. Stomp to Reigns now. Rollins running up the ropes. Oh my god, what is he going to hit on Naito? Rollins, Rollins, but Naito reverses Destino. Oh my god, this is it. What have we just witnessed here tonight? Almost got a flashback from last year, but Naito again able to um, get out of the way of this fear of Roman Reigns, Rollins stomping him, and then Naito hitting that reverse top rope Destino, and now uh, Rollins, and Naito winning his first championship here in GCW, but th this is almost getting overshadowed by by what, what just happened to Seth Rollins. His neck was already shot, and then that Destino counter looked like it might have just broken Rollins' neck. And Roman Reigns here on the outside taken out by that stomp by Rollins. And Naito looking happy. Naito is the Intercontinental Champion. And ladies and gentlemen, j just what a match this was here tonight between Naito, Rollins, and Reigns. Now, medical staff is on Rollins. We, if we have any update on the condition of Seth Rollins after that, Destino will let you know. And as it looks like, Seth Rollins won't be able to leave the building on his own two feet, and we're getting ready at the stretcher there on the outside. Uh, to take care of him, take him to a local medical facility here. These men really put everything on the line here tonight in this triple threat for the Intercontinental Championship. And I hope Rollins um, is able to recover from that. So, but, but, but what is this? Could that be... Could that be Dean Ambrose? Ambrose in conflict, of course, with uh, LIJ, and I think maybe he's going to come after Tetsuya Naito now. Ambrose, of course, missed this year's WrestleMania because of um, Naito and Evil, LIJ, and I can't seem to see Dean Ambrose on the stage, N Naito waiting there. But oh my god, there he is, and he's not going after Tetsuya Naito, it seems. Uh, and it, He looks like he has gone over an extreme makeup here tonight, looking much stronger, too. I think Ambrose just coming out to check on his fellow S.H.I.E.L.D. members, but why does he have this barbed wire chair with him? Leaving the chair now, and I think he's going to go and help up uh, Roman Reigns here after that brutal match that... Um, he had, but oh, he, he's, is he going for the dirty deeds? 
Oh my god! That was like a super dirty deed. And I think Ambrose just quit the shield. What is going on? Oh no, oh no. Why is he doing this? Don't tell me he's going after Seth too. Seth is legitly hurt. He, the doctor now pleading Ambrose not to do it and and Ambrose looking in the face of of Seth, but now he's picking him up. Oh my god, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my oh my god. Oh my god. And I just want to know what is going on in Dean Ambrose's head and Seth Rollins. Oh my god. And now Moxley is explaining himself here. And ladies and gentlemen, it is not Dean Ambrose anymore, it's John Moxley. And it seems like we have an unsanctioned match for the GCW Live. It from Moxley and Evil. GCW Championship and Leadership of the Bullet Club on the line. It's main event time, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes the 2019 Royal Rumble winner, AJ Styles. And we all know how long this main event has been in the making. GCW WrestleMania 4, Kenny Omega made his debut in GCW, joining the Bullet Club, helping AJ Styles to win the GCW Championship. Moving on, GCW WrestleMania 5, Kenny Omega turns on AJ Styles, takes the Bullet Club from him. WrestleMania 6, Kenny Omega wins the GCW Championship in a three-way and tonight he's walking into the WrestleMania with the GCW Championship and putting his leadership of Bullet Club on the line. And ever since Kenny Omega took the Bullet Club from AJ Styles, he hasn't been the same person. But tonight AJ Styles has the chance to make up for everything, get the club and GCW Championship back. And here comes the leader of Bullet Club, the GCW Champion, Kenny Omega. And what a way Kenny Omega had to the top of GCW. As of now, still undefeated here in GCW. Like I said, made his debut on the scene, GCW WrestleMania 4. Joined the Bullet Club from then on, went on having a great Intercontinental Championship run, establishing the title as a huge prestigious belt in GCW, uh, having the uh, GCW WrestleMania 5 match with CM Punk over the Intercontinental Championship, beating Punk in that, and then going on GCW WrestleMania 6, beating both AJ Styles and CM Punk in the very same match, ending CM Punk's career, and Omega winning his first GCW Championship. And after AJ Styles won the Royal Rumble, Kenny Omega made it clear that he was going to put his GCW Championship on the line, but not only that, he was going to take the Bullet Club on the line because Kenny Omega, on his way to the top, he said he did AJ Styles wrong and tonight he wants to have a fair match over the title and the leadership of the club. And you gotta wonder that uh, Cody and the Young Bucks are watching this match uh, very, very closely because there's huge implications for them, obviously, as well as uh, being a Bullet Club members, uh, all of them unsuccessful here tonight. But I th I'd say let's focus on what is going on in the ring right now. GCW Championship, Kenny Omega, AJ Styles, over three years in the making. And there goes the bell, and you can feel the intensity in this building. Everyone knows what a big match this is going to be as Styles and Omega lock up. Now, Omega uh, got Styles in a headlock. Uh, Styles sending Omega into the ropes. Now, there goes Kenny Omega, and Omega with a shoulder block. 
Styles going down. And Styles, oh, nice pop up, Hurricane Rana. And now Styles following it up with the forearms here in the corner. Now Styles going to follow it up with another big one. Styles going for his corner forearm, but Omega caught him. Yurinagi perhaps. No, Styles able to counter. Now going into the ropes. Big body drop by Omega, but Styles landing on his feet. And now, oh, kick by Styles to the midsection there of Omega. And another one to the back. And Omega ducking under Styles, got him in the position, and a very quick snap dragon here by Omega. Perhaps already looking here for the V trigger. Omega coming, but Styles uh, sending Omega flying to the outside. Now Styles going to go flying too, but Omega catches him. Kenny Omega catches him. And now Omega, oh my god, throwing Styles here into the timekeepers area here at ringside and what is Omega doing going on that little podium that we have there what is Kenny Omega doing oh my god double foot stomp through the table and Omega bringing the huge offense here early in the matchup he might already have this match in the back after that foot stomp through that table that looked brutal and now Omega going up to the top rope and oh my god, what a dropkick to the back of the neck of Styles. And Omega wanting to end things early here, I guess. Omega going for the power bomb, but no, Styles trying to fight out of it. And he's able to. Now what got Styles in mind here? Styles with the forearm, but Omega blocks it with the knee and another beat trigger. Hits on Styles. And now Omega following it up, getting him up for the uh, suplex, but Styles. Able to counter, and a German suplex by AJ. But Omega right back up here with the big boot. And Omega with the pop-up at Bulldog here. Really, really nice. And now Omega into the ropes, going for the clothesline and sending AJ Styles outside. And Kenny Omega checking AJ Styles' positioning outside the ring. And he's going for that huge moonsault to the outside. Styles out of the way on the apron and going for that reverse DDT and it hits on the floor. Omega hit hard. Omega hit the floor with the back of his head there and now Styles sending him in perhaps in position for phenomenal form but Omega, Omega has him and now going uh, for his roll through but no, Styles sends Omega into the corner and going for Hiroshi Hiroshi and it goes through. Near fall here by Styles after that perfectly executed Hiroshi Hiroshi and now going for the bloody Sunday perhaps already Omega trying to counter but Styles there Omega ducks the clothesline and now what is Kenny Omega doing? Reverse Rana and spikes AJ on his head and AJ falls into the rope and he might be in position now for V Trigger and there it comes V Trigger and we have like a shotgun echo going through the arena here as Omega is picking up Styles for the one winged angel but Styles reverse Rana to the outside. And Omega went crashing into the ramp there now Styles following it up uh, putting Omega on that ramp but Omega fighting back now got Styles in a suplex position and suplex onto that steel stage ladies and gentlemen. And what are these two doing? What are these two doing up here? Kenny Omega, is he going? He can't do the power bomb from up there. He, oh, Styles reversing it, but no. Omega, oh no. He, he, he got him in the power bomb. Power bomb, but Styles luckily able to jump off. And oh my god, Styles goes flying off the stage. But what does Kenny Omega have in mind here? He's not going. He's going to hit the moonsault and this time it hits and it's hitting off the stage. What a moonsault off of the stage here by Kenny Omega now dragging Styles back into the ringside area. Having him in the ring, Omega gotta follow this one up. What is Omega going for? And Omega, oh my god, going for the J Driller, drills AJ on his head.
but Styles able to survive here after that huge J drill he landed right on his head and now Omega going to follow that up doing even more damage to the head my god and now he's going for the V trigger and Styles getting out of the way last second great by Styles and Styles what a nice drop kick and Styles needed that to get a little breather here in the match. Um, Kenny Omega, tons of offense on Styles, but now AJ Styles might be taking some control back of the match. Hanging neckbreaker, nice by AJ Styles. And Omega uh, immediately rolling, uh, rolling to the outside here. And now AJ Styles going to hit his knee. Omega out of the way. Now Omega on the apron, going to the what moonsault? Oh my! God, what innovation by Kenny Omega! I think I've never seen a moonsault like that in my entire life. What is going on here with Kenny Omega? Now he's going to follow that up. Going for the Snapdragon, goes through. And perhaps setting up for another one. Second Snapdragon to AJ. And now AJ in huge trouble. Omega going for the V-Trigger. And another V-Trigger hits. And that one is echoing through the arena here tonight as well. Styles in big trouble, but still able to find out. Fight out Styles. Omega catches him though. Oh, German suplex right into the cover. AJ out again at two. And Kenny Omega getting frustrated here. He got to hit that one winged angel. Now going for the power bomb. Styles going for that reverse DDT again off the rope, but Omega catches him, setting up for the, oh no, oh no, another pile driver by Omega, but this time, oh my god, it crashes AJ's neck, and Omega got a full, oh, he's going to follow it up with the one-winged angel, one-winged angel, goes through, and just like that, Kenny Omega has another win, but AJ able to roll out, but no, Omega catches him, Omega catched him into the cover, and Oh! Foot touching the rope. This is unbelievable. AJ Styles surviving the one winged angel and not kicking out but having his foot near the rope. And Omega, oh my god. Oh my god, he's going to finish off Styles. One winged angel from the second rope. Don't do it, Kenny. But AJ, what a hurricane run a counter. And AJ Styles just saved. The main event here for him, if that one winged angel went through, Kenny Omega would have been the winner. Definitely, here in the match, now perhaps Styles looking for the phenomenal form. Omega with the Rana, he did that last year, but this year, Styles catches him, and he goes through, right into the Styles Clash. What an answer by Styles. But Omega out at two. And what a counter was that by AJ Styles. Omega did that Rana to him last year. But this year, he was ready for it. And he countered it with the Styles Clash. What a counter by AJ Styles. And the crowd electric here tonight. One uh, V trigger. AJ ducks uh, out of the way now. A uh, Kenny clothesline. AJ out of the way. And oh my god! He turns AJ Styles inside out with that V trigger. That that was just vicious. And now Omega going for that go to V trigger. This is the match how he finished off CM Punk and has been using it ever since. A combination of the go to sleep and V trigger. And now one winged angel Styles countering it into the Styles clash. But Omega there sending him to the outside. Styles form to Omega and. Going for the phenomenal form, but Kenny catches him with the big boot. And oh no, I think Kenny Omega is going to hit the one wing angel on the ring apron. My god, Kenny, don't do it. But AJ counters, counters, power bomb, and Omega goes over the announce table and the whole table falls down. What a GCW championship match here, and control just shifted to AJ Styles in the most unexpected way. He was almost dead with that one winged angel on the apron but he counters it and going for the 450 but Omega up into the power bomb and Styles able to kick out again Omega caught him with that power bomb midair out of the 450 I've never seen something like that before 
My God, springboard 450 into the power bomb and Styles now with the Pele kick. Sending Omega down and now that might be the chance for AJ Styles to somehow, some way get control and hit the phenomenal form here on Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is down in the middle of the ring. AJ Styles taking off the elbow pad. Phenomenal form. Kenny Omega ducks. Now going for the V trigger. Styles rolls out of the way. Very, very nice by Styles. Pop up here by Omega. But there's the phenomenal form. Beautiful innovation. This is how we finished off Cesaro at WrestleMania 5. Now right into the Styles Clash. Second Styles Clash of the match. Styles is champion. No! Omega out. And Omega reverses the pin. Oh, Styles out. Styles out too. Right back into another Styles Clash. Omega picks him up. Oh my god. Oh my god. AJ Styles head crushed into the mat. And Omega following it up with the one winged angel into the cover. Omega is still the GCW champion and leader of the Bullet Club. And these two men left everything they had out here. And in the end, Kenny Omega stays undefeated, walks out with the GCW championship in the main event of GCW WrestleMania 7. There we have him back with the GCW championship. Unbelievable night here tonight at GCW WrestleMania 7. And you gotta wonder what's next for the GCW Championship. What's next for Kenny Omega? What is next for AJ Styles after losing again to Omega in the main event of uh, GCW WrestleMania? Uh, who is going to step up to Kenny Omega uh, to challenge him for the title next? We gotta find that out. We, we'll learn more as uh, the weeks go by. And uh, we'll have GCW live for you guys. And here comes Cody and the Young Bucks to celebrate with Kenny Omega. Their leader stays the leader. Kenny Omega still in control of Bullet Club in a very fair matchup here to defeat AJ Styles tonight. And now the trademark Bullet Club post that we've seen in the end of so many GCW WrestleManias as uh, Cody has Kenny Omega on his shoulders, the Young Bucks standing next to him. What a night here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you so much for joining us on what was a monumental night for GCW. Uh, we hope you all had a great time and we'll be back with more GCW right here on the channel as Kenny Omega is celebrating his huge victory.